It's something different about my trip when I walk in, they always stare. I can see right through your acting, your intentions are so clear. Don't say a word, I just fall back and act like you were never here. What you heard, I get the bag, invested triple by next year. back to my channel if you are new welcome thank you so much for joining me today as you guys can see and as you guys can tell by the title in today's video I'm gonna be doing a full get ready with me transformation from me installing and styling this wig to this cute hairstyle and also showing you guys this makeup look that I got today everything was basically inspired by this beautiful ginger long curly wig so if you guys want to stay connected with me a little bit more want to talk to me then be sure to go ahead and follow me over on Instagram and DM me over there and we can chat and connect a little bit more. Also, be sure to check the description box down below. I will have the link to this wig and this hair if you are interested. And I will also list all of the products that I use in today's makeup look down below as well. I know I do a lot of like hair install videos on my channel and a lot of like just me gluing down the wig, but today I wanted to do like a full kind of transformation. So I more sped through the process of me actually like installing the wig and kind of focused on how I styled the hair and got this look today be sure to grab yourself a snack some coffee some tea something to drink sit back and relax or if you're getting ready with me today then just keep on watching again this wig is from af sister wigs and it came to me in this black box with gold lettering on it they actually had a blue ribbon wrapped around the box but i forgot to record they also included a pack of wig caps and this cute little hairband as well and again i went ahead and plucked the hairline a little bit off camera just in the front mainly so that i can get a little bit more of a natural hairline because i do have a widow's peak but again this is a 26 inch wig it is in this beautiful ginger color and a deep wave texture and this is what the hair is looking like before i installed it i did go ahead and twist and tie my elastic bands like this so it can fit my head because i have a small head but the wig does come with an adjustable insertable elastic band as well as combs inside of it and as you guys can see this is a t-part 13 by 6 lace front wig so there's not lace a lot around the hairline it's mostly weft did. it still ended up looking really natural and I did go ahead and just add some eyeshadow inside of the wig before I installed it and I did try the wig on before installing as well and this is what the wig was looking like and then again I did go ahead and install this wig with some got to be glue and a little bit of ghost bond just to secure very tip and edge of the lace and this is what it was looking like prior to me styling it or adding baby hairs and again with me not bleaching the knots and just adding the eyeshadow i think it looks really really good so i'm really happy with how the wig looks straight out of the bag i am gonna go ahead and just style the hairline a little bit so i'm taking this little baby hair brush with some water on it and kind of like pushing the hair back and pulling down the baby hairs that i created when i slightly eased the hairline a little bit and i'm kind of just forming and shaping them into place just with water at first and just pulling down the baby hairs and really focusing on pushing back that hairline I did go ahead and take some regular gel I didn't have anything better so I know this is really drying but I didn't have any mousse or anything so I'm using this gel to kind of just push back the hair along the hairline before I really go ahead and lay my baby hairs because as you guys can see being that there's not that much lace and I wasn't able to tweeze it as much as I wanted I don't have that many baby hairs so I had to really just kind of push the hair back as you can see and then i'm going in with the got to be glue to lay my baby hairs but you guys will see that it actually looks really natural considering that there's not that much lace around the hairline and this is what i'm left with and i'm gonna go ahead and style the hair later but we're gonna go ahead and move on into the makeup look so i'm starting off by moisturizing my skin with this rose and collagen face serum i did go ahead and apply this before i actually started filming so it actually was able to set into my skin and then i'm taking the got to be glue again and a little bit 
tiny bit of this and brushing out my eyebrows and then combing this through my eyebrow hairs. And I don't normally do this on a day-to-day -day basis, but being that my hair is a different color, I do want to slick down and kind of make my hairs not look so voluminous and noticeable. So I really wanted to slick them down. So I'm being sure to really comb through my brows and shape them how I like. And then I'm cleaning everything up with a Q-tip because the got to be glue can be really sticky. So when I apply my concealer, I don't want it to kind of stick or apply weird. And then I'm priming my skin with the Baby Skin Instant Pore Eraser Primer. And I'm applying this in the center of my face mostly and where I'm breaking out. I currently have been breaking out a lot. As you guys will see, I have scarring on my face. I don't have that many current pimples, but I have a lot of scarring and a little bit of pimples on my forehead and my chin. I'm going in with this e.l.f. concealer and I'm gonna go ahead and clean up the brows underneath. I am moving and starting with my eyeshadow first, but I like to go ahead and just add some concealer under my eyebrows, blend it in, and then set it with some powder. I'm using this Airspun Powder in Honey Beige. And I don't really apply the concealer all over my lid, but I do apply the powder all over. And then I'm taking this Mirage Pro Fusion palette. Don't mind, some of it is like fell and broke. But I'm taking this color right here and starting to work a little bit above my crease to blend. I feel like I have really small literal eyelids, like not necessarily just my eye space, but my lids themselves are very small and kind of like hooded. So I really have to work above my actual crease and I find this works really well. So I'm blending this color as my first transition and then I'm taking this color that's a little more orange and applying this slightly underneath I'm gonna kind of be creating like a sunset kind of smoky effect so I'm really just working with like four colors and really just blending them together and starting to move closer to my eye line and then I'm mixing these two shades and again applying this below the orange and more in the inner part of my lid and kind of leaving the outer V of my eye blank and just really blending these together. And then I'm taking this brown shade with this really small, more defined brush and kind of creating the first essence of where my wing is gonna be and kind of darkening that outer V and applying this there and smoking it out. Then I'm gonna go back in with all the other eyeshadows and just blend them in a little bit more. I'm cleaning up with some rose water and Q-tips to kind of sharpen that shape of the eyeshadow look. And then I am going in with my really crusty LA eyebrow kit and I'm using this as eyeliner again. This is another transition before I go in with a black liquid liner to kind of just deepen it up. And then I'm going to go in lastly with the black liquid liner to just create a little wing on the outer V. So again, it ends up being kind of like a gradient effect. I'm curling my lashes and adding mascara and then I am going to go ahead and add some falsies so I'm just going to add one nice layer of mascara and then I am going ahead and taking these INV 3D Collection lashes as well as the INV lash glue and this is what it looks like with one eyelash on and then this is what it looks like with both as you guys can see and it definitely elevates the look a little bit so I really liked how this came out. Moving on to the skin again I'm taking some of that oil just on my hand and then I'm taking my LA Girl Pro Concealer in medium beige and I'm going to be putting some of this on top of the oil and then I'm taking my Becca foundation and I'm also mixing this with my LA Girl Pro Concealer. Now I've been liking to do this and then mixing it together and then just applying this where I basically need coverage, where I have scars, where I have redness and working like that instead of just applying my foundation and then applying the concealer and the center points on top of it. I I find that this allows me to use a little bit less product and really focus on just getting coverage where I need. So again, I'm just mixing this on my hand. I like to put the oil first so that it doesn't dry out or just set on my skin. And then lastly, I'll go in on the under eyes, but so that I'm not using too much product, I like to first focus on just correcting the rest of the skin. And again, I'm not getting a full, full coverage effect. I like to cover my skin and get a really nice base, but still kind of leave my skin peeking through. And then I'm taking this and cleaning up the sides of our eyeshadow look to make it look really sharp which I really really like and then again I'm taking the leftover I'm just going in areas and adding any more coverage where I need 
And this is what it looks like. Again, my skin's peeking through. You still see some discoloration and scarring and glow, but I'm basically covered up the majority of my scars, which I love. Then I'm taking this super dirty O2O rose gold highlighter. It is a liquid highlighter. So before I'm putting my powder, I am using this in just the high points of my face. And then I am using a darker color of the LA Girl Pro Concealer to contour and bronze. And I do like to blend this in with a brush so that it stays in the area that I placed it and I just take my time blending this it takes a little bit longer with the brush but I do like to do this and on your chin be sure to drag it under your chin and under your neck to actually create the effect and then I'm blending out the nose with my beauty sponge and I'm taking the remnants and remaining concealer that I have and applying it to anywhere I need more coverage and down my neck. I'm setting everything with this air spun powder in honey beige again and I'm just using a brush to do so. And then I am taking a sponge and I'm just putting this under my contour. And then I'm taking this Pro Fusion Contour Palette and I am going ahead and bronzing and contouring and then I'm taking a smaller brush to contour my nose a bit. After I add my blush, I end up taking that same contour palette to kind of deepen up the look, you guys will see. But for now, I'm taking this O2O bronzer and adding this and then swiping away that powder that I applied with this so that it kind of blends everything together. And I'm applying a little bit on my forehead as well and then I'm moving on to blush from this Pro Fusions palette again and I did use a little bit of that really darker vibrant color mixed with the lighter color and it definitely gave me a bright blush look which I actually really kind of wanted like I wanted a little more of a dramatic blush look but once I added it I felt like my bronzer got washed away so I went in with the darker contour color as you guys can see and I deepened up my contour and my bronze a little bit which I felt like helped and then I'm setting my highlighter with the same highlighter from the contour palette and I'm going back in after and adding some highlight to the inner part of my eyes as well as some eyeshadow to the bottom line. And moving on to brows, I'm actually using an eyeshadow from that same Pro Fusions eyeshadow mirage palette and I'm doing this because again my hair is a different color, I don't want it to be too dark. So I'm using the darkest brown in this palette to just slightly fill in my brows. I'm adding some lip liner that I just got from the dollar store and this wet and wild lip gloss and this is what I am left with and then I am setting everything with this rose rose water and coconut facial mist and this is basically the final makeup look I love how this came out it's definitely really dewy and glowy I feel like the lighting in my bathroom does not do it justice but you guys can see the look and definitely be sure to follow over on Instagram to see better photos of this but moving on to the hair this is what the wig looks like just installed and dried I did go ahead and put a little bit of curly hair product on it before I did go ahead and do my makeup but I do want to do a little bit of like a hairstyle with it again this this lace, this parting in the hairline just looks so good. I feel like it really went with the makeup look. But as you guys can see, I kind of wanted to get the hair a little bit out of my face without pulling it all back into like a half updo. So I'm pulling a few little baby hairs out and hairs in the front. And then I'm sectioning off this section where I am going to go ahead and start braiding. Now I only braided to the head halfway and then I applied this clip and just braided the rest of the hair straight down as you guys can see. Once I got to the end, I'm fastening it with a little elastic rubber band and then the end is puffy so I am going ahead and adding some conditioner water to kind of just define the curls. I did want to go ahead and cut the pieces in the front so they can be a little bit shorter and frame my face a little bit better. So again, I went ahead and did that and then I repeated the same thing to the other side. This is the product that I used before I did my makeup and then I went ahead and added some of this oil just to kind of give the hair some shine. And then this is literally the final look. Guys, I did not have to do that much to this hair at all. I just glued it down, added some baby hairs, added the eyeshadow, and then these two little braids to get this hair look. And I love the makeup look. I think it goes perfect with the hair. And I was definitely inspired by the color to create this look. The hair is super soft and super easy to work with. It was easy to braid and part. And this hairline and the parting looks really, really good considering, again, it doesn't have that much parting space. It's a T-part wig. And all I did was just tweeze the front of the hairline a little bit and add the baby hairs so guys this is the final look right here and i am so happy with it i am so in love with this hair like do you guys see how full this is it is so thick it is so 
full it is so soft like the hair itself is soft it's not crunchy it's not dry it is like literally beautiful it looks like real curly hair that would be this texture and that probably has been dyed but it looks good and healthy so I really really love that because it is so thick I kind of wanted to do a little bit of a style to kind of just get the hair out of my face but also still allow the hair to be out like I didn't really want to do a ponytail or half up half down do I just did these two braids as you guys saw and I just like pushed them behind my ears and I actually ended up putting two bobby pins right here to hold them in place which I don't think I did on camera but I love how this turned out it just allows the hair to kind of be out of my face have kind of like a headband crown effect and the hair is able to still just be out and be voluminous but it's not necessarily in my face and I just left these two pieces out which are in my face because I kind of just like a little bit of hair to frame my face so I really really like how this turned out and I really love this wig like it is so beautiful guys I cannot stress enough and I've gotten wigs from AF sister wigs before they have really good quality human hair wigs the construction of their wigs is very durable very strong but also very comfortable like they make their wig keeping in mind and listening to people who actually wear wigs and what we say so I really, really appreciate that. I feel like this middle parting just looks really nice. And there literally isn't that much lace around the hairline. But I was able to still have somewhat of a natural looking hairline with these baby hairs. And I was still able to like braid the hair and pull it back as you guys can see. And it looks really, really good and really cute. I also did kind of like pull out extra little hairs as you guys were seeing. Kind of just to make it look more like boho and effortless. But I love this wig. I think it's really, really cute and fun. It is so different. If you guys saw my last wig that I tried, it was actually a red burgundy wig. Which was really out of my comfort zone. But I fell in love with it. And I feel like once I tried that wig, this wig was like not that crazy to me. And I instantly fell in love with it, especially because it is just so long and so curly. Like, let me show you guys what it looks like in the back. You guys can see it has movement. It is so full, but it is soft. And it just, ah, so good. Like, I literally feel like the girl from Brave. I feel like a female Tarzan who needs to, like, go out. I kind of feel like Kim Possible, too. So, yeah. But yeah guys, everything will be linked down below. This wig will be linked down below. So definitely go check it out. If you guys want to try something new, try a new look. And I love wigs, this texture. I always say like the deep wave, long wigs. I feel like they're very, very, very low maintenance. Because half the time you can just add water in the morning. Spritz it with like some water and conditioner and you're good to go. But also if you want to, you can add some curly products, creams, oils, and things like that to actually define the curls and get like a more sleek look. I kind of went somewhere in between today. I did put some product in the hair when it was like a little bit more wet before I did my makeup and I let it kind of dry. I'm just leaving it how it is and as you guys can see because I'm playing with it, it is getting a little bit more voluminous and big. But if I didn't put any product at all, it would definitely be much more voluminous, which again is a look. So I really love that you have that versatility with hair this length in this texture you can definitely play around with it do so many different hairstyles or just leave it exactly how it is so I'm so excited let me know down below if you guys want to see me do a hairstyle video with this wig like 10 different hairstyles with long curly hair or 10 different hairstyles with a lace front wig I want to show you guys too I can easily put it up in a ponytail like even with this braid here and it looks so cute. You can see how thick the hair is, but it still pulls back. It can get out of your face and look really sleek. So I love, love, love this. I just think this color is so different. And I feel like we're still in winter, but we're moving on into spring soon, hopefully. I mean, it's literally like three feet of snow outside my house right now. I'm in New York. But this is giving me the summer vibes, the spring vibes. That's why I literally have like a tank top crop top on because I'm in my house. But this was giving me those vibes. So let me know what you think down below. Let me know if you like this hair on me and if you think it is a look because I definitely think it's really fun. I had fun doing my makeup. If you guys follow me, you guys know I usually just do basic, neutral, nude makeup every single day. But as you guys can see, this wig and the last wig that I tried have inspired me to touch a little bit more color in my eyeshadow palette. So yes stay tuned let me know what you guys want to see next for me be sure to follow me over on instagram and i love you so much if you made it to the end of the video i will see you in my next one Mwah. bye guys Act like you